from Seattle, Washington. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. On the ground at LinuxCon North America 2015. Now, here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hey, Jeff Frick here with John Furrier. We are on the ground in Seattle, Washington at LinuxCon North America 2015. We left the Bay Area, we came to the great Pacific Northwest for a little tour. John, what'd you think? It was a great tour. I mean, we, you're coming up to Seattle, we got Amazon up here, you got OpenStack Seattle, obviously LinuxCon. Jeff, this is, this is the show that a lot gets done with not a lot of fanfare because it's not the big pimping out show, not a lot of big marketing and sales. They have, it's kind of like all the budget goes towards more sessions. I mean, hell, they didn't even have lunch out there today. Attendees go out for lunch. All the money goes into technical sessions and networking. So, you know, big heavy hitters here. Solomon Ice is here from Docker. I saw Ping Lee from XL Partners out in the wild, pound the pavement doing deals. XL's here. Tier one VC, Ping Lee's in, well, top dog over there at Excel. Again, this is where the change is happening. At Linux is the innovation engine of the future and certainly cloud and obviously developers. It's funny, some of the people that we had on talking about kind of the community and the feel here of the show, they talk about it being big. You know, we go to some big shows. We have VMworld in a couple weeks, EMC World, Oracle Open World. I mean, those are big shows. This is a tiny show, but it's such an intimate community. They all know each other that this feels big to them. And even though the show's been going on for a long time, um, it, it's still growing, but it's very intimate. It's really a geeky developer. I was telling the Greg off air, I don't know how many times Kernel came up today, but more often than in our typical kind of Cube interviews. Well, I mean, the, the challenge of this show right now is that they got to go mainstream. It's always been a boutique little cottage industry, the Linux market, you know, Linux turbos on stage. Linux is now mainstream, and what they have to do is they got to up their game. They got to get bigger budgets. They got to take it on the road. This show is too cottage industry. It needs to get bigger. It needs to spread the word. There is a huge global population of developers out there that want to tap into this innovation from Internet of Things to security. We saw the Ashley Madison uh, hack. You're seeing Internet of Things going on. You see big data. So much is going on with Linux as a tier one software platform and first class citizen in the enterprise and service providers. It has to get bigger. So these guys really got to scratch their heads and say, how do we take the Linux Foundation event and go global with it. So that's a big challenge here because there's so much demand. Yeah, but it's interesting because we had uh, Sousa on and you know the Linux is covering everything from, they have a, some announcements with System Z and IBM in the mainframe, all the way to the other the other side, of, which is really about containers and Docker and all the buzz we've seen at DockerCon. Yeah. So it's really spreading its weakness and then covering everything from the old to the new. Well, this is the thing, Solomon, I saw Solomon Hikes down there from Docker. He's sitting around the round table, he's holding court and they're working out, they're having real technical conversations and then on the other hand, you have IBM System Z, mainframe on Linux. This is a watershed moment for IBM and the Linux community because it's a total endorsement that the mainframe is now crossed over to Linux. It's, it, it's, it's totally awesome. I mean, this, you have the two ends of the spectrum, pure developers, mainstream commercialization. So Linux is being operationalized, and again, the demand is huge, and the innovation's there. We had startups we talked to. Again, the VCs are, are pounding the pavements. I mean, seeing a tier one VC out on the streets here in, San, in, in Seattle is a testament to the innovation going on. From Kubernetes to orchestration to cloud in the enterprise, it's all kicking some serious butt. Yeah, and, and then the other cool thing is that, you know, Linux uh, really kind of set the standard for how open source projects can grow and develop and, and, and learn some tough lessons about about fragmenting and you know, kind of keeping keeping good management to keep the open source project um, on track, and now that that is being leveraged across all these other open source projects that we're seeing that are growing. It seems like wildfire. It seems like every day we're hearing about a new cool open source project, whether it be Docker, whether it be Kubernetes, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, my prediction you're going to see is a connect a connected uh, world we live in with social media and mobile and remote working. That open source is going to go to a whole nother level. So my prediction is. What we have seen with open source is, going, is small compared to where it's going to be because now you have frictionless communication, you have people working in groups. Again, this conference can be taken physically from this event and blown out into a larger scale because people are working as groups. Right. It's self-governing, this is pure democracy in terms of software development, but again, it's a global platform now, and so more and more is going to get done. Yeah, and it's no accident here. We're, we are here in Seattle, and there's a little company down the street called Amazon that you know launched AWS, really driving the cloud, and there's another company down the street, Microsoft, that maybe we, you know, we don't hear as much about Azure, but for sure they're everywhere in terms of their installed base and moving the Microsoft folks into the cloud, and so it's that cloud and, and mobile combination 
driving tremendous development in data centers, which then goes into the virtualization yeah. of the compute, the store, and now more and more the, the uh, the networking. Yeah, I mean, the history is clear. I mean, Linux first beat the mini computer guys, the, and then Sun Microsystems of the world, the mini computer operating systems, and then it beat Microsoft. Now, Microsoft's embracing Linux. Linux also made AWS happen, Amazon Web Services. So, Linux is winning everywhere. So, yeah, that's the bottom line, is that Linux is winning big. So, it has already won and continues to take territory in terms of the mind share, and also scale and, again, robust critical infrastructure. I mean, 10 plus years SLA with Red Hat for RHEL. That's gonna, that trend is spreading in every single commercial product. Okay, so what's next? What's the next thing you want to see from the folks here at the Linux Foundation? I think the next thing I want to see is more startup action. Not enough startup uh, competitions, not enough action in, in getting this access to some of the visibility startups. I want to see more big names coming in here. I want to see more than just IBM here. I want to see other big players. I want to see more contribution from the large scale market players like Amazon uh, and then some of the service providers. But more importantly, you want to see more, more, more media. You got to see more uh, global penetration of Linux. We want to see more, more content. Yeah, well it's a certainly a great trip. We're happy to come up here. Beautiful uh, flight this morning, Mount Rainier out in the in the distance and, and we're excited we're going to stay for another day we're going to go to OpenStack Seattle tomorrow yeah. and give you the, uh, the the scene from there which really leads into OpenStack Silicon Valley next week yeah. and then VMworld VM World, and then the fall tour just goes Oracle and goes, and, goes. And, and more and more all right yeah the cube is here on the ground hey, the cube the ground. is landed cube's leaving all right he's John Furrier I'm Jeff Freak you're watching the cube we'll catch you next time thanks for watching